Good morning folks, this is Dragon again, uh, second in the series on uh, cotton ball fire sticks. As I mentioned in the first video, um, I did see one on YouTube, but uh, the guy didn't really go into the specifics on how to make them. So it's something I had to experiment with and work out for myself. One of the problems with cotton balls, uh, basically in cotton, cotton balls, great idea. Um, used it many times myself. But it's the actual storage of them that's a problem. Um, a couple of videos I've seen them use uh, film canisters like this. Um, you can use uh, Ziploc bags, that sort of thing, and generally they're a good idea. But what I've found uh, in my experience is that they're prone to failure. Uh, sometimes on these, the lids pop off them if they're in your backpack. Um, also, when you look at this um, in your backpack, BOB, weight is a premium, but also space is too. So, I thought, well, there's got to be a better way to do this, uh, space saving, and uh, make it more ruggedized, and above all, waterproof. As you know, cotton wool is highly absorbent. Uh, once it gets wet, uh, it's almost impossible to start. So after watching that YouTube vid, I made a few the other day. This is what they turned out like. Very compact. Look at the size of that. Now you can make up a dozen of these. You don't necessarily have to stick them in your backpack and put them in a side, packet, uh, side uh, pocket in your backpack or stick them in your pocket. The problem with these ones is when I did the water test on them, they failed because I didn't seal them properly. Really full of water here and the cotton wool got wet, so that was a learning experience. It takes a bit of practice. What I did yesterday was made up these two. The one on my left hand has a Vaseline ball. And I sealed it and did the water test on it, it worked well. The one in my right hand, I've just put pure uh, cotton balls in there, no Vaseline or anything. Two reasons for that. One, uh, you can use it as a fire lighter by itself, or the other use is um, you can use it for other um, situations uh, in the bush. It's not a sterile solution for first aid, but it is a way of storing cotton uh, balls for, for that situation. Another interesting way, thing I did was, um, and I'll do a video series later on on other uses for these, is I colour coded them with some texture. Uh, the red one being for fire, the green one being for just cotton wool. Uh, you can work out your own colour coding scheme or whatever you like like that. <laughs> okay, moving on. What I did was, I pre-prepared this, is I heated the end of this to the point of melting, <coughs> pressed down with this on this, and essentially it's welding uh, the plastic tube together. Now one way to test uh, if it's sealed properly is to blow into the end of it. No air coming out of that, so that's a good seal. Alright, cotton balls. I pre-prepared this one to save a bit of time on the camera. Some cotton balls, are, they're just a roll, so you can roll them out. Vaseline, you can do it a couple ways. There's a jar of Vaseline, and believe me, from my own experience, I've learnt a lid like that in your backpack. Pops off, high temperatures, this starts to liquefy, and you've got oil all over the place. I've had it happen in my vehicle first aid kit, 50 degree plus temperatures in summer. Even with the lid on, the stuff seeps out. And you really don't want to be carrying that around in your backpack. It's big, bulky, and heavy. So, to put the Vaseline in here, you can do it a few ways and work out your own system. Use a stick, just put some on there, scrape it in. Use your finger, a bit messy. I decided to use a syringe. Got from a pharmacy. 
the idea is, is when you've unrolled it, to put it into the centre of it. You don't need a lot, but don't put it all the full length of it. You need some pure cotton wool on the end as a lighting medium for whatever you're using, blast match, flint, whatever like that. Next thing, just to close it up, and this can get a bit messy, and twist it up like that. This is the end, it has no Vaseline on it. Vaseline is in the centre there. A little bit coming through to the outside, that's alright. Now, to do to insert it into the tube. Now, if you get lucky, insert it as you, you can twist it and it will start to weave its way in. Still feel some of the Vaseline coming out there from the fingers. Okay, it's not going to um, weave itself in too well. So, you can use a stick, screwdriver. Anything you like, cotton bud. Just push it down into the tube. Twist it up a little bit like this. Makes it a little bit easier to get in. In there. It's white on my pants. Mr. Dragon's going to be happy with that. Push it all the way down. As far as you can get it. You don't have to push it up here, right up against the seal. You can leave a bit of an air gap there. Extract the straw. Now, that's one cotton ball. You can put more in there if you want to. Fill up the whole length of the straw. So, but you can make them any length you want. Just cut it. Now, we've got to seal that end. Let's make sure it's clean. Haven't got any cop cotton fibre sticking out the end or it won't seal properly. Heat it up with any, um, you can use a candle for this. I'm using a big lighter. Okay, we heat it up. You've got to be very quick with this. Takes a bit of practice. Screwdriver. Press down, clamping it together. And effectively, what you're doing is welding the plastic together. And that's what it looks like. Now that's one cotton ball, Vaseline. You compare that to the size of that. Okay, it's a little bit longer, but with the difference in diameter. Space saver. Now you can stick these in your pocket, in the pouch on the side of your backpack if you've got one. Waterproof, very rugged, you can bend them. And that's the way it goes. Okay, folks. That's that part two now. Part three. I'll show you how to light one of these and we'll look at some alternatives. Thank you very much.